This After Effects tutorial is all about minimal transitions, how to use them and how to create them. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. The most minimal transition is obviously a hard cut between two scenes. It is always an interruption though. And with an attention span being shorter than that of a goldfish, viewers happily take every opportunity to get distracted. We want viewers to watch our beautiful videos for as long as possible though. And that is more likely to happen if scenes are connected, like this classic, two people seeming to look at each other, or the direction of movement continuing, or building up anticipation, which then... I think you get the idea. These principles work for video and animation. First of all, I should quickly mention there are a few standard transition effects in After Effects which are very useful, like the Block Dissolve, Iris Wipe, Linear Wipe, Venetian Blinds, the Radio Wipe, and many more. For better continuity though, the solution is to create unique transitions that consider the video footage. Let's start with a very basic review. I've added the two scenes, each of them in a comp, so you can change the video anytime later. The scene we want to reveal, on top, we add a new solid, color white, and name it Mask. We double click on the rectangle tool to add a mask to the solid. Set a mask keyframe at the point we want the scene to be revealed. Then before that we move the mask beyond the left edge of the screen. We select both keyframes, open the graph editor to edit the speed graph. We slow down the beginning and end of the animation. All right. Then we use it, if you can't see the track mat options, you might have to click down here. We use it as alpha mat for the upper footage comp. This is like the most basic transition. Let's add some stuff. We duplicate the solid, name it shape, make it visible. Then we duplicate the mask, subtract it, and offset the keyframes by one frame, which creates this line. We adjust the upper mask shape here at the end though. Stretch it a bit. If you want to add one more layer of detail, duplicate the solid, reduce the opacity and offset it by one frame. And there is a shape trailing after. All the footage I use in my videos is from artcrypt.io unlimited downloads. It's the best place I know to get all the scenes I need to tell my stories, in the best quality. And the license covers it all. Use your footage anywhere. And forever. Subscribe to artquet.io through the link in the description and get two extra months free. Start now, or after the video. Let's check out the next example. We're gonna go from this scene to this. Meaning we're going to take up the vertical lines of these buildings to transition to the next scene. We double click on the rectangle tool with no layer selected. No fill, stroke width 10 pixels. At 34 frames we go into the rectangle path property and adjust the size to 0 and 1500, which looks like a vertical line. Let's hide the second scene for now. And let's move the line, not the whole layer, on the gap here by selecting the Rectangle Path property. We set a size keyframe and let's set a position keyframe. Next, we use the Effects and Presets window to add a gradient ramp. We leave the start and end position and pick up two light colors as gradient colors, a blue and a yellow light. Then we add a glow. Glow radius 10, glow intensity 2. We duplicate the glow Set the radius to 100, glow colors to A and B. And again, we pick two of the window colors. We go to the beginning and move the line down, out of the screen. Then we go to 60 frames and increase the shape width to around 2500. You want to make sure all the glow is outside the screen. Then we select all keyframes. We open the graph editor and adjust the speed curves. The line moves up, slowly comes to a standstill, and then the width increases faster towards the end. Awesome! The timing feels right. Let's add echo. 
echo time, minus 0, 0, 0,01, number of echoes, 15, decay, 0, 0,7, which adds some more detail to the lines. <laughs> Let's name the shape line. Then we duplicate the line comp, rename it, mask, delete all effects, add a white fill, hide the stroke, and move it above the upper footage in the layer stacking order, then use it as alpha mat. Awesome, the glow matches the lights in the footage. The vertical line takes up the structure of the buildings. In the next example, we want to take up the direction of movement, which is downwards. And the melting ice, of course. So let's create a liquid transition. We add a new white solid, name it mask. Then we grab the pen tool and draw the drops below the screen. Rough it first. Then let's refine the shape. This is basically the end of the animation. We set a mask keyframe, I don't know, at 28 frames. Then go to 12 frames and move the bottom part of the mask up, above the screen. Let's check it out. The speed seems right. Then we duplicate the mask. Change the solid color into the pink color of the eyes. Then we duplicate the mask. Set its mode to subtract and offset the two keyframes by two frames. We add a mask feather of around 300 pixels. Finally, we use the white solid as alpha mask for the footage. That's it. In the last example, let's be even more playful and create a wave transition. We create a new white solid, like before, we name it mask. This time, twice the comp height though. Next, we double click on the rectangle tool to add a mask. We adjust the shape, create a triangle. Move the two top points together. And move the two bottom points closer as well. Then we add wave warp, wave height 40, wave width 200, direction 180 degrees, wave speed 2, pinning all edges. <laughs> My notes tell me the wave speed should be 4. Then we add mirror, set the reflection center to x960, the reflection angle is 0. Next we animate the position. Below the screen at the beginning, we set a position keyframe. Then we go to 2 seconds and move the shape up. We open the graph editor and slow down the beginning of the animation. Then we set a mask path keyframe at 30 frames. At 2 seconds, we increase the width of the triangle until it covers the whole screen. We open the graph editor again and slow down the beginning of the animation as much as possible. We use it as alpha mat for our footage. And this is the reveal. We duplicate the shape, make it visible, reduce the opacity and move it below the top footage comp. Offset the footage comp and mask. Check out the links in the description, I hope this tutorial was helpful. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and hit the bell, cause you don't want to miss my next video. Thanks for watching this one, see you in the next one, bye guys!